Inquisitor Colchis let out a sigh as he looked up from his cogitator. <sighs> that should do it. The Penal Legion Infilex has finally been overrun. They fought with considerable bravery, it seems. Apparently, they even managed to wound Oris before the tide of battle turned against them. And now, they have paid their debt to the Emperor. The Primorch designated Oris Ludakil should now be large enough to start feeling restless and challenge his warlord. Acolyte Demetrius handed Colchis a data slate with more in-depth battlefield reports. Are we sure this is even going to work? No offense, Master, but the Inquisition doesn't have the best track record when it comes to manipulating Xenos into killing each other. The Inquisitor rubbed his chin and nodded as he perused the data slate. You have a point. I do? Don't think that I haven't taken your objections into consideration. There's a reason I chose you to be my protege, Demetrius. You are an intelligent, curious, principled, and optimistic young man. Such a thing is rare indeed in these times. When you become an Inquisitor, you must be prepared to fight against callousness and a reckless disregard for human life. You keep me connected to the reason that I do what I do. So why go through with this plan? It seems like a pretty callous thing to do. There is no decision I can make in this situation that will not lead to the deaths of at least hundreds of millions of people. Yes, what I am doing is a risk, but it is the best chance to end this orc war before it becomes large enough to require serious investment of military power to deal with. Once the orcs are fighting with each other, an expedition fleet should be enough to dismantle their little empire. Sir, I don't necessarily disagree, but I just have a feeling that something very bad is going to happen. Demetrius, something bad is always going to happen. The best we can do, most of the time, is fight for the least terrible option. Meanwhile, deep in the Imperial Palace on Earth, De Emperor seeks out Malkadork who is directing mech boys and weird boys, all gathered around a green throne. Malkaduk! How is the green throne going? I think it's just about ready. With enough war, we can make a portal that only orcs can go through. The spiky guests get fragged as zog if they try to go through the pure war energy. <laughs> it's funny to watch them try, though. Now, it's just a matter of getting enough boys down here, building up the war to open the portal, and, you know, hope the weird boys' heads don't blow up. Send Landmine Russ to get Maggie to Redden. If there's any weird boy that can keep the portal open, that ain't me. It's him. So why did you tell him he couldn't use weird boy powers? Because I didn't want him exploding his head. Doing something stupid. If he's going to explode his own head, he's going to do it doing something stupid that I told him to do. You still look like you's worried, Emperor. Yeah. The Emperor and Malkadork removed themselves from the other orcs. So, you said this fate thing was going to have me all zogged, right? Yeah. So... How do I get unzogged? You leave the Perium. What? You leave the Perium. You stop mucking with Yumi's. You stop being the Emperor. You get a new mob and be just another Orc war boss. No! All built the Perium. All made the Prime Orcs. The galaxy is gonna be mine. That's the doom. That's the way you get crumped. That's the way this all falls apart. Zog you! I ain't giving this up! It's mine! Listen, you ever see that big shiny light in the warp when you's in there killing Spike it gets? 
That really shiny thing that hurts me eyes? Yeah. That's him. That's the other emperor. The first one. The warp is all weird and stuff, so I can't see all the details. But I can see the mark he made on the warp forever. Somehow, you stumbled onto his path. His destiny. Like I said, I don't know exactly what happened. But I know the old emperor got crumped. And now he's trapped. And I know his Imperium is getting fragged the Zog. If you keep your Imperium, that's gonna be you. Zog fate! Or make me own fate! I'm gonna crump fate and me Imperium is gonna rule the galaxy forever! Where you going? Back to the fight! This crusade needs the Emperor to make sure nothing goes wrong. War the Emperor! War the Perium! Praise be to Gorkemuk, his chosen warlord, Oris Lutakil, was saved from the very jaws of death. Hey there, Oris. You look like you've been crumping quite a few kids. Got right and proper stompy you have. Yeah, I'm fine. Crumped all the kids and they ain't crumped me. Shame you did all this. And all the credit is just going all to the Emperor. What is you talking about? You went on this crusade. You crumped all the gits. While the Emperor went back into his RTO back on Earth. I don't know about you, but it don't sound like he wants to be Emperor no more. Hmm. I think I see where he's going with this. Bring back the old ways. Crump the Yumis. Make it orky again. You know, you're right. Zog the Emperor. This Perium is gonna be mine, and then the galaxy is gonna burn.